Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me for It's Not Over Vlogtober. So we are doing um, the encouragement series, yay. Instead of regular, um, of instead of like a regular Vlogtober list um, where you get vlogs every day, we're doing a series of encouragement. They're like mini series. So I'm so happy you're here and I cannot wait to share this with you. Um, I was just, I was on my phone today and I was looking at something on Insta and it just reminded me of this and I was like, okay, Lord, I hear you. Um, I had planned out something else for today's topic, but when the Holy Spirit shifts you and that wind blows, girl, you gotta, boy, you gotta, you gotta go where the wind takes you. Okay. Um, so I'm so excited again. Welcome back to It's Not Over Vlogtober. Here we are. All right, today's word of encouragement is coming from Genesis 1, 26. Um, and today I'm reading again from my King Jimmy Bible. I just love it, you guys. Like, it's pink, period. <laughs> it's pink, it's a big letter. So come on, let's jump in the text. All right, 26, and it reads, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over um, and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. You guys, I love this verse so much. God is so mindful. Like, who are we that God would be mindful of us? He's like, let's make mankind, us humans, after himself. I love that. Too often we are trying to be like someone else. We're trying to be like the next person. But I've heard, I've heard this quote. I know you guys have too. Um, don't allow comparison to rob you of your joy. The joy of being yourself, right? Literally, before you got here, you were on God's mind. And he said, let us make him after our image. The us here, God the, is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So God is a triune God, right? So the word triune, it literally it just, it means three in one. Um, you know, I just want to do the breakdown of the basics. I'm not for sure who's watching the video. If you know that already, great. Here's your refresher. If not, here's our little teaching moment. Yay. <laughs> um, so you can think of God like, like the analogy of an egg. So the egg, you have a shell, a yolk, and then you also have like the egg white itself. But it's still one egg, right? The same thing with God. Only did he make him us after himself. But he also gave us power, right? He gives us authority over the things of this earth. So he didn't just make us, but he gave us authority, tools we can use to govern the earth, to govern our situations when things may look bleak or when they may look upsetting. But guess what? You have a power over the air, right? Over the animals. Um, you There's authority that God has given to you as a child of God, but you have to use that authority. And one way you can use that is by casting down comparison. I truly believe it is a thief of joy and of your progress and your process. Everyone's process looks different. Um, and the progress that you make, it will also look different because you're not going at the rate of someone else, nor the speed, or you may not have the capacity to do what they're doing. Um, and so, and where you see them, what if God wants to take you or surpass you from where they are? If you're so into what they're doing, how can you focus on the thing God has given you to do? So today, I want to encourage you, don't allow comparison to steal your joy. Don't compare yourself to what others are doing around you, what they have going on. But instead, compare yourself to the word of God. Compare yourself to God knowing he made you after his image. You can ask yourself, okay, so today, am I, comparing, am I comparing myself with Sally who I saw on Insta? But we don't know what Sally has done to get, I don't know, 5,000 5, likes or how Sally is, I don't know, size zero, that's your goal or whatever. Whatever the goal is, we don't know the process behind that person's position. 
but I do know you or we have to embrace where we currently are and enjoy the journey to where we want to go, right? Um, comparison is so unnecessary. And if you think about it, it's almost as if social media um, was designed to have a, almost an ill effect on humans, right? So you can sit and compare your life, compare your um, just where you are, your process or whatever you're sharing with others. But in all reality, God did not design us to sit and compare ourselves to others all day, but he did design for us to eat his word. Glory to God. We can compare ourselves um, to the word of God we can judge ourselves on where we are in the spirit. Where are we going? Our goals, are they lining up with the word of God? So today I just want you to be encouraged to know, no, you don't have to compare yourself, but you can be thankful for your process be thankful for the place that you're in right now. That very place that you are, um, that you're in right now, that you may not want to be, someone else is praying to get to that exact point of where you are. Someone is praying to get to your size. Someone is praying to get to your weight. Someone is praying to have, I don't know, the family that you have, the mom, the, the dad, the job, the hair texture. Someone is praying maybe i don't know if a person may have cancer and you're just like oh my my hair is so i don't know thick or as nappy as type four z and a half or whatever be grateful for whatever it is that you have knowing that god the father he crafted you intentionally with your hair texture with your hair type your skin color everything he made you he was so intentional about it down to the amount of hairs on your head he knows how many is there or the lack thereof and that's okay but be encouraged you don't have to compare yourself yourself to others nor their process but instead compare yourself to the word of god see what areas can you work on where can you come up in and if you're not sure james 1 and in it talks about asking god for wisdom because he will not rebuke us for asking. So be encouraged, you know, that place, um, that position, wherever wherever you are in life, um, the job, the school situation, work, family, whatever, you are there for such a time as this, and you don't have to compare yourself. But rest and know, rest and know that God is building you for a greater process. He is taking you from faith to faith, to glory to, go, to glory. Know that you are exactly where you need to be. And the only person or the only thing you need to compare yourself to is to the word of God. You guys, I hope this has been encouraging. Please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to continue the conversation with you guys, but thank you so much for joining me for It's Not Over Vlogtober um, in our encouragement series. If you guys have questions, want to chop it up some, let me know down in the comments below and follow me on Insta if not already. Got my brain getting stuck. Follow me on Insta if not already. All right, guys. Bye.